everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this pleated skirt with a bow for a beanie boo or any small stuffed animal. Now let's get started! So like I said before, I'm making this skirt for a beanie boo. And if you don't know what a beanie boo is, this is what it looks like. And there are other kinds that aren't in the sitting position. And here's another stuffed animal that's pretty similar in size. They're about the size of my hand. And if you want to make this for another stuffed animal, their waists are about 7 to 8 inches, so you don't have to change any of the measurements if you want to make it for this size. But you can just increase the measurements to make it for a bigger stuffed animal. So you'll need some pins, scissors, fabric, and your templates. So these are my templates, and here's the measurements I used to make them. You can just pause the video here if you want to recreate this. And we're going to start by cutting out our pieces. So I'm going to cut out all of my pieces except this trapezoid piece since I have special instructions for that. So I'm going to show you that later. So I'm just going to cut out all my other pieces. And then we can get started on the sewing. So I'm going to start with piece number one, this long rectangle. And I'm just going to start by hemming all of the sides, except for the top. So I'm just going to fold over each of these sides, pin it down, and then just do a straight stitch on all of them. Now we can start adding the pleats. So when this is done, I want it to be the size of this paper. So I'm just putting that here to keep that in mind. And to start pleating, all you want to do is fold the top of the fabric. And for this, I want it to go diagonally towards the other side. So I'm just making a small fold there, increasing it with my finger, and then I'm just going to pin it in place and then move on to the next one. So I'm going to leave about an inch of space between them, and I'm just going to continue doing that till I go all the way to the middle. And I'm just measuring along the way to make sure it's not getting too small, and now I'm going to pleat the other side, except I'm going to have them go in the opposite direction. So it kind of meets in a triangle right in the center. So I'm going to continue doing that and try to do the same amount of pleats on each side so that it's even. When that's done, I'm just going to make sure that this is the right size, and it is, so it will fit my stuffed animal. And now I'm just going to do a straight stitch along the top to seal those pleats in. Now we can move on to piece number three, which I said earlier there'd be a different way to cut it out. What I basically need to do is sew two of these trapezoid pieces together, but if I tried to do that, it would get stuck in my sewing machine since it's just so tiny. So what I'm going to do instead is fold over my fabric and actually trace around the outside first. And then I'm just going to sew right along my tracing and make sure to leave a spot in the center so you can turn it inside out. But this way it won't get stuck in your sewing machine and you won't have to sew it by hand. So I'm going to do that and then come back. Now that that's done, we can cut it out. This is the piece that will eventually become our bow. And then I'm just going to cut this out, making sure to leave at least a millimeter of space between where I'm cutting and the stitches. And now I'm just going to turn it inside out. This can be really tricky, so if this is difficult for you, you might want to make the bow a little bit bigger, which also would look nice. And when I'm done with that, I'm just using a pencil to poke out the edges. And now we just need to sew up that top part. I just did it by hand, and once we're done, we can start making the bow. So here I have the shorter side facing down, and I'm just going to take the two sides and fold them over each other like this. And I'm just arranging this so it's flat and even on each side. Now I'm going to turn this over, and we can start turning it into a bow. So. To do that, I'm just going to pinch it right in the center like this, and then I'm going to take some thread and just tightly wrap it around. I just made sure it was centered and kept wrapping until it felt secure and really tight. And once it's really tight, I just cut off the thread and set it aside. Now I'm going to piece number four, which is just this small rectangle, and I'm just folding it so that it's super thin, but just to cover the raw edges. And once you have it really thin, you just need to wrap it around the center of the bow. 
Once it completely covered the thread, I just went in with a needle and thread to sew up the back part so that it stays in place. And when that is done, your bow is done. So I'm just going to trim off the extra fabric. And now we're going to sew this onto our belt. The belt will eventually be folded in half, so I'm just going to get that started. But I'm also going to find the midpoint, which is where I'm going to put the bow, just so I know that it's perfectly centered. And now I'll just sew this on by hand. When I'm done with that, we can attach the belt to the skirt. So I'm going to fold this in half and place the belt and the skirt good side to good side. And then I'll just do a straight stitch right along the top, making sure not to catch the bow inside. The last thing to do is adding our Velcro. So here I have two thin pieces of Velcro and I'm just going to put them on horizontally on top of the belt. And this is just so there's a little more flexibility. Just in case it's a little tight, hopefully the Velcro will still be able to latch onto each other. And then I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch so I can just go straight across on both of them. When you're done, you can now try it on your stuffed animal. I like to put it on with the Velcro in the front so her arms can cover it and you can easily see the bow in the back. And that's how to make a pleated skirt with a bow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!